Hello friends, welcome to Padu's Kitchen. Today we are going to see Karnataka special Ragi Mudde, Basaru and two side dishes. One with greens and the other with green gram. This is Samaran that is Mulai Kirai. I have taken one bunch, washed and chopped roughly. This is quarter cup of two dal. I have soaked it in hot water. This is soaking for 15 minutes. In a cooker add the dal. 1 cup of water. Greens. Quarter teaspoon turmeric powder. Pressure cook for 3 whistles. First, we will make the masala for the basaru. Basaru is a watery dal which is commonly had with ragi mudde. I have taken 2 teaspoons coriander seeds, 2 red chillies, 1 8 teaspoon fenugreek seeds, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, half teaspoon whole black pepper, 3 tablespoons grated coconut, 2 ripe tomatoes, 2 garlic cloves, one small piece of ginger. Heat a teaspoon of sesame seed oil in a pan. I am going to add all these. Saute until you get a nice aroma. Add tomatoes, ginger and garlic. Cook for a few minutes until tomatoes soften a little. Now I am turning off the heat. Add coconut and saute in the heat of the pan. Let this cool completely. Then we will grind it. Pressure has subsided. We will open the cooker. This is cooked well. Now we will strain this. We will be making a stir fry from this. We will be using the stock to make basaru. This has cooled. We will blend this with 2 tablespoons of cooked greens and dal as it will give thickness to the basaru. Masala paste is ready. I blended it with little water. Now mix this paste with the stock we kept aside. Add little water. Quarter teaspoon turmeric powder. Salt needed. Mix well. Heat 2 teaspoons of oil in a kadai. Add a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Few curry leaves. Add 1 onion finely chopped. Saute until onions turn transparent. Now add the stock. This has started boiling. Boil for another 5 minutes and turn off the heat. This is boiling for 5 minutes. I am turning off the heat. Basaru is ready. Now we will make the side dishes. Heat 2 teaspoons of oil. Add a teaspoon of mustard seeds. A teaspoon of urad dal. A teaspoon of cumin seeds. Red chillies. Saute until dal changes color. Add one onion finely chopped. Saute until onions turn transparent. Onions have turned transparent. Add the cooked greens. Add salt needed. Mix well and turn off the heat. If it has water, cook until all the water evaporates. Since this has no water, I am turning off the heat. Green side dish is ready. This is half cup of green gram soaked overnight. Drain the water, add little fresh water, salt, turmeric powder and pressure cook until soft. Green gram is cooked well. Now we will season this. 
Heat 2 teaspoons of oil. Add a teaspoon of mustard seeds, red chilies, asafoetida. Add one onion finely chopped and few curry leaves. Saute until onions turn transparent. Add salt to the onions alone as we have already added salt to the green gram. Add the cooked green gram. Mix well. Check for salt. Add grated coconut. Mix well and turn off the heat. Green gram curry is ready. Now we will make ragi mudde. I am going to make only one ball. If you want more just multiply this measurement with the number of balls you need. First we will mix 1 teaspoon ragi flour with quarter cup of water. Mix it without lumps. Keep this aside. I am adding half cup of water, salt needed, quarter teaspoon ghee. We will heat this first. Now we will mix the 1 teaspoon ragi mixture. Let this come to boil. As you can see this has started boiling. Reduce the heat. Add the ragi flour. Wait for few seconds. Now mix it well so that there are no dry flour. You can use any wooden stick or use the back of a wooden ladle. Now cook on low heat for 5 minutes. Wet your fingers, touch and see. If it does not stick, it is cooked well. Now turn off the heat, close it with a lid and let it sit for 2-3 to three minutes. Now take a bowl greased with ghee. Place the mixture and do as I show in the video. Our soft ragi mudde is ready. Enjoy it hot with piping hot basaru. It tastes heavenly. Calcium rich breakfast is ready. It will keep you full for 4 hours. Ragi mudde can be had for breakfast or for lunch. Avoid taking this for dinner as it will take a long time to digest. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to Padu's Kitchen. Also click the bell icon so that you will get notified every time I post a video. Do share this video with your family and friends. Thank you.